Hello, welcome back. Last time I found what seems like it might be the centerpiece of the world, the canal room, which is perhaps three rooms in one? One room in three? <laughs> yeah, one room in three, sure. Uh, I have a guess that perhaps since I took the... Oh boy, it's hard to tell what's what here. Since I took the south exit out of here to go this way, I'm probably going to be taking one of these two to go this way, then take whatever unused ones were to go back, and yeah, this will be three wide, and maybe the center one goes north because there is a room here. Okay, so anyway, I, oh, and something's going to change when I clear the room. Maybe that's for a future pass. Anyway, so what I have access to now is this. That has cut off that exit, so I'm definitely not going out that path, okay? I came in from the north here, so there might not actually be a north exit. Well, if I could put something on here and one of these, it could be. And I might be able to do that? Let's try going north of here. Hmm, no, I'm gonna have trouble doing that. Okay, but it's very easy to do this. Do I want to, though? Maybe. No, I mean, that doesn't help me go this way. Not if you're dead. Well, anyway, you have to go somewhere, and you're gonna kill me if I let you go anywhere else, so I think you're just dying there, probably. Let's assume that having this open is helpful in some way. So yeah, ways I'm interested in going. Any exit. Any exit I can get to here. Oh, there might be a south out of this room, possibly, since that passage exists. That's my guess. I assume all three of these are clearable. And all three have prime keys in them. How many prime keys do I need here? Looks like seven. There's a room here, by the way. Yes, of course there is. So five more than I have. Okay. So if I wanted to go anywhere... I need this closed for a statue kill. Okay, so I'm not going south unless I enter from center. Enter from center to go south. Center east, specifically. Okay. It seems unlikely that this is the exit that I want. It feels unlikely that this is the exit I'm gonna get. So I suspect I'm going here. That one looks plausible. Ah, and because this is open, I can do a certain action here, right? Mm. Let's see, if I'm in a slightly different spot, maybe? No, because I can't wait. Okay, and also somebody would need to die there. Can I do that one? I think so. Yeah, that's much more doable. I've done it before, even. Okay, so to, for something to die here, I could stack up some rubble, like, here and then here. That could work. If I could get such things to follow me. Alright, so you can come here. And then... Yeah, that's pretty promising. Um, kind of off by one, though. Oh wait, there we go. That lined up nicely. Okay, I can exit. I'm gonna take my exit. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Just in case, I need some restores. Alright, here we are again. So, there's nothing west, there's nothing south. So, you're never going south out of this room. Oh, but I wonder if it repeats itself to the north. <laughs> See, that's probably what's going to happen. I'll go north and erase a bomb bug if I step here. Or get blown up if I step here. Okay, that's my suspicion now. 
All right, well, this is clearly something I might desire, and yeah, so opportunity to go north has presented itself. Let's take it. Uh, except I need one more thing somewhere. That's doable. Gotta go around. That's doable, probably. Hmm. Not quite as trivial as I was imagining. Let's do things in this order. Ooh, that doesn't work. In this order? No, that doesn't work. Okay. How do I do this and live? If I do that, you are now blocking the way. If I go south, I can't make a kill from here, and there's nowhere else I can stand. I can get you stuck on that, but that's not good for me. Still can't make a kill from here. So let's see here. Can I make it all the way over there? No, not really. If I leave you for a moment and go, hang on, isn't there something else that does that? This. Maybe that's what I'm actually doing. That's a little easier. All right, so you, uh, uh, let's see. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen there, but I can do this. Okay, here we go. All right, so I can, I can go north. There's nothing to the- whoop, can't even go that way. No, okay. So, not a bum bug there. Maybe it repeats here. Possible. Worthy sacrifice. Okay. I forgot to save a thing there. Well, too bad. There's a waypoint here, which might come in handy. Hello, bum bug in the corner. Oh boy, what is happening here? First of all, that's just... Ah, choo. Okay. So that's my way out, if nothing else. Got a lot of blocks. No potential for bridging to an interesting place over there. Okay, so somebody has to be sacrificed here. Somebody worthy. I'm imagining some kind of double explosion that puts a... What? Mm, maybe not. Maybe... Mm. Okay, but that's for when the room is clear. I wonder if I can go this way. What am I even trying to do? Okay, so like, this is clearly out of the way. I'm not touching that. So... This corner should not be sharp. I should figure out a way to smooth that one out. Uh, okay, so you... Something needs to be sacrificed there, yes. I have some kind of elevation mechanism, or way to have a statue put a thing on my head, maybe? Two statues exist, many push blocks do, there's a whole lot of stuff here. Okay, <laughs> where do I even start? What am I trying to do? Like, forgetting about the sacrifice there. Well, I can't really. If I want to go over this, well, I mean... Hmm. Okay, yeah, so that that does seem like a pretty important sacrifice. There's definitely no way I'm touching this key without making that sacrifice. Uh, okay, so this does that. This is for elevation. I can use with... You, okay, so stacking is possible. Uh, I can't actually get this anywhere of interest. Oh, there might be ways. Okay, we got some Sokoban stuff going on here. I'm gonna have to make some stepping stones in order to uh, 
just make some types of traversal possible. I don't currently see a reason I want to make a stack here, just that it's a thing I can do. Okay, so this allows me to keep that statue asleep while going up here. Let's imagine that's productive in some way. Here's another stacking mechanism. Yay! <laughs> Not you. Hmm. Not so convenient. Okay. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Like, what's my goal? Uh, I can't put enough blocks in there to fill in the pit so I could just walk there and do something. Like, how is anybody dying here? Is it one of those deals where I push a block out over a pit, then a statue awakened on, like, another side of the pit is bumping that space and pushes it further? And therefore, I wanted to have a bomb bag up on top of it, maybe? But, like, none of these bomb bugs are accessible. You're way down here, you're way down here. Is there some place where a double statue could push me across a pit or something? Alright, let's look at some angles. Like, say, one statue was pushing a block with me on it over this way or something, and pushed me off. Uh, let's imagine that happened right here, and this was filled in. So we're going diagonally here. I get pushed over top of this pit. I then need another push to happen from, well, this direction to get across. No, I think this is all too wide to cross in that way. This exists, though? And yeah, I could just make my own bridge across here. Right, okay, now hang on. That's much more accessible than I was estimating. In theory. I'm gonna just start splashing things. Let's make some traversal possible here. That's a start. I'm just gonna ignore you. You can also be a stepping stone. Hmm. Yeah, and that's over pit. Of course it is. So I'll need some assistance if I want that to be able to make it all the way across. Hmm. Well, so I've at least gotten the opportunity to have these two. Oh, that's a stack. Okay, no, hang on. I found a reason to stack. It is the standard reason. To push two blocks at once. Okay, I'm over here now. That's a way for me to die. Yeah, this is inescapable, so that's what this mechanism is. No going that way, and we know no going this way. Okay. And not there. Got it. Uh, okay. So starting to get an idea of some of the things I can do. I know there's no room over here, no reason to check. There could be ways to go up there. I'm not checking right now. I know this leads over, so I'll let that lead me there, probably. Okay. So there's a way to get here. Once I've gotten there, though... I either need to have lured one of these bomb bugs somewhere else by being up high and in its line of sight. Possibly this one. That does look plausible. This also looks like a... Uh, a way to get more height than just... Yeah, so that's a reach elevation 2 mechanism, isn't it? 
right, statue, I'd like to ignore you. Ah. There's a lot I'd like to do, but I'm not able to. Yeah, here we go. So I'm up at elevation two if I want. And I can pull you off if I want. That makes this situation survivable. Can I still bridge over? I believe so. Okay, this is starting to unravel. Alright, cool. But... I need my sacrifice. Because I'm not getting back after I've done this. I could make the sacrifice first in the theory, but like... What is it? Okay, so potential sacrifices. Me? That's no good. Not this bomb bug. I'm not getting that off that island. One of these seems so unlikely. Not like absolutely impossible, just pretty implausible. Cause like I'd have to stand in this column to get you to step onto a block that I'd somehow put there by magic and yeah, good luck with that. You step on the block, then I detonate this remotely by magic. Oh, by the way, this block is too high so you've elevated somebody. Okay, so there's, there's like way too much magic in that for, uh, for any of that to be even close to possible. Who's going here? Feels like it has to be a statue. I can't get a sleeping statue up high. Am I getting an awake statue up high? That's gonna be so unruly. None of these are multi-push. Once a statue's angry, it's gonna be super slippery and will not hold still up high. Let's see if I can put a thing on my head. I think that's pretty easy to do here, right? It'll take a little bit of doing still, but I think I can. I'm still ignoring you. Uh, sure. Well, I, that didn't even do any of what was I trying to do. Uh, okay, well, something's on my head. Yes, that's easy to do. Why would I want that? There's only one waypoint in the room, so I'm not unstacking it unless another statue pushes it off. Or an explosion does. Which would not happen in this area. No. And there's no way to get one of these sleepy boys up there. So yeah, live statue seems like the only thing that's plausibly going to go on here. But that sounds like a complete nightmare to set up. Like, how would I ever? I wonder if these mean anything. They just like support structures for what's above, or line of sight blockers, or just ornaments. Okay, I think I get what's going on in this area. What I need to understand is what goes here. Like, it has to be one of these, right? How, though? I'm not bringing a statue with me through here. Only one thing can go, and that's just the once, and... No, I think, like, I have to clear the room while I'm in here. That's what it feels like to me. I have to clear the room while I'm in here. And 
And the way in which I clear it needs to be by putting a sacrifice on there, which will then kill this, of course. Okay, but like, what's this big gap in the middle? How do I even begin to parse what it is I need to do? So something on here. How? First of all, that something has to cross the two gap. What's the most realistic way for that to happen? If I'm standing here, statue A is there, statue B is there, both awake and angry, so statue A is trying to bump this space, statue B is trying to bump that space, that, no. Okay, statue B is approaching from this way with perfect timing. Statue A is approaching from this way while pushing a block with perfect timing. That block doesn't have anything on it. I was imagining, you know, one statue pushes it there and occupies that space. The other one bumps these three spaces in the process, pushing that out over the thing. But nobody's on that. So just me and a statue alone can theoretically make a block go over a gap like that, right? Not really. Because if I'm at an angle to push east here, the statue won't be at an angle to push with any east component itself. And I can't have the statue push first because then the thing falls before Leaf gets its turn. There's no... not enough hang time for a bomb bug to walk there with, like, two things suspended here. <laughs> Again, how are you gonna do that? Uh... Am I bringing one back with me here somehow? No, they can't go around this corner. I don't know, this looks pretty implausible. Okay, so I can get a thing on my head. Ah, now hold up. Okay, I just realized something. If I want to carry an angry statue, that angry statue should be directly above me. That's how to get one to hold still. Yeah. A statue on a block on my head will be stable. It won't slip off because it wants to be exactly where it is, just lower. And it doesn't know how to burrow through the thing it's standing on. Okay, so my goal is to get an angry statue on a block on my head. And this mechanism is built to make that somehow possible. So I need two angry statues buffered up. That's what these are for. These are statue holders. Okay. Two angry statues buffered up. One behind the other. A block somewhere to be... Hmm. Hmm. It's hard to make this block useful. Put it here, does that do anything for me? Not much. Okay, well let's not worry about resources yet. Just only to the point of, like, getting things where they need to go. So these two are allocated. You are out of my reach.
Well... <laughs> yeah, I'm already kind of out of blocks. So I guess I'll ignore a statue for a moment once again. Or can I just keep it, like... Angry and ready to do things? Not easily. There's some stacking possibility there, sure. Alright, well, you just die. Maybe not there. Maybe, let's see here. I will need both. Yeah, so... Angry sta- I mean, I can kind of demonstrate this, I think. Ah, now I don't want to stand there. I want to stand... No. Wait, hold on. What if I hadn't put that block there? Uh. So yeah, if... Other statue later in the turn order is currently behind you. I do that and you get pushed onto my head. Okay, so I have to have them together and it does only just take one block. Alright, so all the other blocks are for other things. Once that's set up, I think it's pretty stable. Now, additionally, I need to somehow... Oh, wait a second. I need to try something. I think I didn't fully complete an experiment I needed to run. So all I gotta do to get over here is this. It's very simple. You'll awaken, whatever, you go away. How deadly is this? That is not. Right! Oh, that's pretty funny. So this looks like a, a an inescapable death situation, but no. This is... Ah, that's very clever. Because of... It'd be impossible to see under the explosion, but you can see how the explosion is displaced upward. Because this is a plate press, the door goes up first, then the bomb bucks explode, then this plate releases and the door goes back down. So this is a mechanism for exploding something off my head over here, then over here. Okay, okay. So I see this whole mechanism. This requires no additional setup. That's already the way it is. This is so cool. Wow. I thought I'd be picking apart canal room, but I found something else amazing. Okay, the rest of these. Why is there a stacking mechanism here? I don't know. Why is this here? I guess I want to block your sight line while I do some operation there? Maybe I'm just trying to get access to this block. Okay, so the next big question here is how am I getting two simultaneous statues chasing me at just the right distance? So yeah, number of blocks I have is actually pretty small. Let's say I would do... This. Hmm, is that even what I want to do? So, my big question kind of is push block I, what do you do? Seems like nothing. Wait, no, you can follow the same path this one does. So if I push this in here, then I could go. <laughs> the letter I, not the person I. Uh, well, yes, that is a useful spot because it lets me push things over here. Alright, that's all that's needed to set this up. That's interesting. So I could also use it for that purpose and get it back later. Okay, cool. So I got this ready for that. That can can be up here if I want. So then... It just doesn't feel like you're in the right place.
Why is this? I don't know. Why is this? I don't know. Okay, so the thing that I'm currently unable to do that I would like to. Is to wake up the statue. Stash it somewhere that's compatible with this thing awakening and the two of them getting together. The order is... You need to be closer to me by one. Am I bridging somewhere? Am I bracketing somewhere? Like this, but with statue B somehow following behind. What kind of bracket would allow that? And how many blocks do I have to make it? Can't really move this one until I'm ready to awaken you. This, you're not going to be too cooperative with how that's happening. I can't really go this way until you're awakened because that itself will awaken you. Can't move this. I wouldn't be able to get it back, really. I sup no. Can I delay this situation until- No, the timing's gonna have to be just perfect. And what on earth is this for? about something. Did I make it such that if I mark this with something... Um, uh, uh, okay, no, the, the mark doesn't transfer to the stepping stone. Maybe it should. It probably should, yeah. Maybe. It's hard to know. Yes. Uh, okay. That looks like a bracket. I'm not getting anything into it, though. Is there anything else bracket-like in here that I'm just not seeing? That, but that doesn't really count. Like, these are just not the right size and shape. What size and shape do I even want? So water's no obstacle to any of you. Like, I want you awake. Which, I would do how? I mean, now you're just, like, right on me and I can't do anything about it. Okay, what if... We are doing things together like this, and then... Uh... Um... So yeah, now just this extremely fast aggressive thing needs to somehow get to the perfect spot in a way that I'm not able to understand. Like, all the way from here to here? How? Is there gonna be some, like, taxiing or something? I think that quite works. But let's imagine it did. Uh, 
so first of all, you on there. Yeah, I don't have a lot of waste here. Most of my stuff is used pretty well, actually. Hmm. How do I think I'm gonna taxi? That's that's just not gonna be happening. Yeah, that's on my head. Cool, so what? I can't do anything with it. What? Uh, you're not the one I want on my head. Maybe this is just here to make me think about putting things on my head. Pretty much the only way you're awakening is if I push this block somewhere. After I've done that... I don't know what's happening up here, it just doesn't seem like anything in particular. That probably gets pushed. If I waited... This is how things would look. And I die there. Alright, so this block's not doing anything for me. The problem with all of these is that, like, I can't scrape someone there and then just continue walking in that direction because it's all watery and also they're, they're grid aligned. So I need, like, a non-grid aligned bracket. But yeah, like, these things are... they have water barriers in front of them, so I kind of can't really build the brackets I want to build with that. Alright, let's look at this angle for a bit. Doesn't lead where I want it to lead. I mean, okay, so now I could do this... ...and then replace that with something? Does this do anything like what I want? got a little buffer between us now. It's not helping me. I can't use it to get you scraped off there. If I could, I don't think that would help me much. Huh. Yeah, what is the next step here? Alright, what are the parts of the room I don't understand yet? This? There's gotta be a reason for that. Imagining here. <laughs> Useful. Okay, uh. Trying to figure out if there's a way, like, one could push me when I'm up high there somewhere useful. Okay, maybe. somehow have pushed this or anything. Hmm. 
It's hard to see that leading anywhere. Okay, I don't understand this. Is a stack useful for something? I don't really have the resources to stack here, do I? I mean, kinda? Only one waypoint in the room, so I can't just hop up on a thing if I want to. The way that is... Do this and then hop back off if I want, I suppose. I don't think that's productive. I guess it's interesting you can kind of bring that to me, so like, what I did there is not a lost condition. Why would I, though? tried this already. I just kind of feel like I'm out of things to try. This is just, this doesn't do anything. Hmm. I know what I want to do, but there's, there's, there's a gap in the middle that I don't know how to fill. Alright, well I spent some time with this. I understood part of the puzzle, but I think it's best to just leave it off here and come back another day when maybe I have some new ideas. Yeah, this is cool, it's just I don't I don't get what to do in between like how to get these two maybe that's not my goal, having both of these together pushing in here. It feels like I'm supposed to stack something here either on my head or on another block or on a statue but I don't see how that would be productive. So yeah, I guess I'll ponder what this is for and what this is for. Like, this is just a way to have a... Well, but then why this? Nope, don't know what's up with that. It's a mystery to me. Okay, but I know how I want the, the room to end, and I think all of this start is correct. It's just, I just don't know the middle. Alright, next time, I suppose I could walk out of here and work on Canal Room some more, because I have a lot of unfinished business there. I feel like I might actually be stuck here, though, until I solve this and get out, because Canal Room only seemed to exit in that direction when I entered from here. So I might have to waypoint all the way over to a uh, small push, and uh, whatever this infernal key is. We've went all the way over a small push and remount canal room from here. Or maybe there is a way to go out one of these other exits. Yeah, no, hang on, didn't I touch this once? I touched this once. No, 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 I can go this way. I can go this way from here. That's right. Okay. So canal room's open if I don't have any new ideas for this. But next time, one of those things. I'll see you then.